So in 1961, President Dwight Eisenhower gave a speech. And in that speech, he warned the United States, our society, about what he coined as the military-industrial complex. This was his farewell address as he was leaving the office of President of the United States. And his concern was that the military and industrial America, which we can think of today as corporate America, as being too closely linked to each other. He thought that uh, these groups would use the executive branch of the government or the Congress to form coalitions that would protect their own self-interest. So thinking about this idea of the military industrial complex, we're going to talk about C. Wright Mills' theory about the power elite. Now I want you to recall that C. Wright Mills was not very popular in his time because things were very prosperous and running relatively smoothly for most groups of people in America. At least there was the perception that that was the case. So Mills comes out with this uh, idea or this theory about who's ruling America and he calls them the power elite. He says that the power elite are a politically, militarily, and or economically dominant group of people. And he says further that the power elite are going to make decisions which protect their own power, even when those decisions are not good for everyone in society. So you can see how this notion of the power elite was used by President Eisenhower in his speech in 1961. Bear in mind that C. Wright Mills came up with his concept of the power elite in 1956. He claimed in his book titled The Power Elite that a class of military, business, and political leaders who were driven by mutual interests were the real leaders of the state. They were the real power elite. And they were effectively uh, doing their work, protecting their own self-interest beyond the control of our democracy. And so this is a problem, and we can go farther back than that with regard to the concept of how this small group of elites will protect their own self-interest regardless of the interests of society. There are many mentions in political and sociological and economic academic works with regard to the political industrial complex, the military industrial complex, etc. But I want you to understand the importance of this thought with regard to sociology. We can take Mill's work, again, which was very unpopular back in the day, and we can think about whether or not it's applicable to today's American society. Do we have a power elite who are politically, militarily, and or economically dominant? And do we have a power elite who are making decisions which protect their own power regardless of whether or not those decisions are good for America? Again, I'm going to let you be the judge with regard to whether or not you think that Mills was on to something in 1956, but I think if we think about his work in broad terms, we can see that his theories were eerily prophetic. All right, I hope this helps. Take care. We'll talk again soon.